Hello everyone, this is Sura Badrina from M Farm Second Sim. Today I would like to present my topic that is antimicrobials that are used as preservatives. Their merits, demerits, and factors affecting microbial preservative efficacy. Coming to the introduction, the antimicrobials that are used as preservatives. Antimicrobials are chemical substances that are commonly used as a preservatives to prevent the growth of microorganisms in various products. These products include food, cosmetics, personal care products, pharmaceutical and industrial products. In cosmetics, antimicrobials are commonly used as preservatives to prevent the growth of harmful microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi which can cause the spoilage, degradation and contamination of the product. They maintain the safety and quality of the chemical products during their shelf life and ensure that they are safe for use by the customers. Some products may also cause disruption of the endocrine system, allergic reactions and this is because of the parabens that can mimic the hormone estrogen present in our body and they can disrupt the endocrine system which regulates various bodily functions. However, there, there are concerns about the safety of some of the antimicrobials that are used in cosmetics. As a result, regulatory agencies around the world such as FDA in the US and the norm other cosmetic regulations have set limits on the use of certain antimicrobials in the cosmetic products and require safety assessments to be conducted before a product can be placed in the market. Now, there are several antimicrobials that are commonly used as preservatives in cosmetics and cosmeceuticals. Those include Benzalkonium chloride, phenoxyethanol, chlorhexidine digluconate, imidazolidinyl urea, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, triclosan, ethyl hexylglycerin, and caprylyl glycol. Triclosan, this is a synthetic antimicrobial that is effective against a wide range of bacteria and this is very very widely used in the cosmetic industry. Now, these are some cosmetic products containing various ingredients that are stated above that such as a wow skincare shampoo, acne proofing shampoo of cleanser, dove shampoo and miseral anti dandruff shampoo. These contain various products such as benzalkonium chloride, triclosan, chlorhexyl diclosol and these are all used as uh, antimicrobials as preservatives. Next coming to the merits and demerits of antimicrobials as preservatives. Antimicrobials that are used as preservatives in cosmetics and cosmeceuticals have several merits including they prevent the growth of the microorganisms, they prolong the product shelf life, they ensure the product safety, they maintain the quality and allow for the wider distribution, they are cost effective because when the um, antimicrobials are used the requirement for the preservative decreases. And when the requirement for preservative decreases, the cost for producing the cosmetic also decreases. However, it is important to note that some microbials used as in preservatives in cosmetics and cosmetics have been associated with potential health risks and they must be closely monitored to ensure their safety and efficacy as well. The antimicrobials are added to the cosmetics to prevent the microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi and can cause which can cause the product spoilage and contamination. Now, coming to the demerits of antimicrobials used as preservatives in cosmetics and cosmeceuticals, these include allergic reagents. Some microbial preservatives such as parabens and formaldehyde cleansers have been associated with allergic reactions in some individuals which can range from mild irritation to several allergic dermatitis. The resistance Overuse of these antimicrobials as preservatives may lead to development of resistance in our body that might lead that uh, we need higher concentrations of antimicrobials further when we have resistance to them. The environmental concerns. Some antimicrobials preservatives have been found to have negative effects on the environment such as leaching into the micro environment, same as that of microplastics and development of antimicrobial resistance bacteria. Uh, the other demerits include regulatory restrictions. Some antimicrobial preservatives have been banned or restricted for their use in the cosmetic and cosmeceuticals. 
due to their concern over the safety and environmental impact, which can limit the options available for the product preservation as well. Interference with the active ingredients. Some antimicrobial preservatives can interfere with the performance of active ingredients in cosmetic and cosmetical formulations, which can impact the product efficacy. And other potential health risks include, well, most antimicrobial preservatives that are used in cosmetics and cosmeceuticals are considered safe. When used to the regulatory guidelines, some have been associated with the potential health risks such as hormonal disruption and cancer. Overall, the use of these antimicrobial preservatives in the cosmetics and cosmeceuticals requires careful consideration of the, all the potential risks and benefits both outweighing them or equal and uh, regulated to their ensure their safety and efficacy as well. Now, coming to the factors affecting microbial preservative efficacy. There are several factors that can affect the efficacy of the microbial preservatives in cosmetic and cosmetical products. They include pH. The pH of a product can affect the activity of the microbial preservatives. Most preservatives are effective at certain pH range and formulations that are too acidic or alkaline can reduce the efficacy. And the water activity. Microbial growth requires moisture and preservatives may be less effective in their products at higher water activity. Products with a lower water activity such as anhydrous formulation may not require preservative at all. Product formulation. The formulation of a product can also impact the preservative efficacy. Some ingredients such as surfactants and emulsifiers can interfere with the activity of the preservatives while others may enhance their activity. The other factors include packaging and storaging, microbial load and preservative type. The way a product is packaged and stored can also impact the preservative efficacy. The microbial load, the initial microbial load in a product can also impact the efficacy of preservatives. Products with initially high microbial load may require a higher concentration of preservatives and vice versa. And coming to the preservative type, the other factors are include the duration of the use and the product contamination, microbial diversity, regulatory requirements and use of the natural preservatives. These are all the main factors that need to be considered while using antimicrobials as preservatives. The overall efficacy of the microbial preservatives in cosmetics and cosmeceuticals depends on the combination of several factors and formulation and manufacturing premises. These to be carefully controlled and ensure product safety and efficacy. Thank you.